Hey there, so today we have another review. This is courtesy of Hot Butcher for the World. This is Fat Bear. A really nice painting of a bear here. Uh, <laughs> a font that is actually legible. Uh, peanut butter, imperial stout with chocolate, 10 Let's see what's, ooh. So I warmed this up pretty well. So it's gonna be good temp. Maybe warmed up a little too much. The car, let's see. Yeah, yeah. got to actually warm up really well. So again, my trick is, um, throwing up some hot water. You know, you're warming it up from, I mean, my fridge right now is at 38. You get it to 45, 50, right? That's a golden imperial stout. So oh, I got a really nice warm. So super chocolatey down the nose. Peanut butter. Last imperial stout we had was the ass little heavy. None of that. Nothing too peanut buttery here. Like not like, um, she's one I think of, like Reese's, like, Reese's, sorry, Reese's is how you pronounce it. This is how I pronounce it. Pulse and Commons will how you pronounce it, but it's got this really nice kind of like roasted nuttiness, nothing like Sue, super jiffy or Peter Pan, whatever um, brand of peanut butter you buy, but a nice kind of roasted nuttiness. Definitely nuttiness, right? A little bit of alcohol, um, some of that kind of like uh, roasted, like anise licorice kind of like dark malt kind of note. Pretty nice, it was a little bit sweet. Oh yeah, I wanted this up a little too much, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this is like the tail end. Like, you know, I recommend, like people always say, hey, where do you recommend certain beers at? I always recommend um, hitting a good temp, depending on the style, and then letting it ramp up as you sort of sit there, enjoy the beer and just like sip at it. So this is like towards the end of like the last sip of where I want it, but it's all right. It shows a lot of flavors. Uh, this is quite tasty. Um, it's not a pastry stout. It's sweet, but you know, a lot of these are super stickling, uh, sticklingly sweet and at this warm temperature, quite drinkable. <laughs> Certainly not an American pearl stout in the sense that like, it doesn't have that like huge harsh bitterness and all these like hop notes. It sits, sits somewhere in the sense of like a, an imperial stout with a nice balance of roast and bitterness. Uh, roast bitterness, I don't really get any hop character here with um, some of that sweet chocolate note with the peanut butter, which is quite nice and delicate. So what do we have here? Despite smelling it, um, not getting that kind of Reese's kind of like flavor, it's a little bit like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Not as sweet, not as peanut butter forward. You get a nice chocolate tone throughout, it's milk chocolate throughout with this kind of like, um, I mean, I get it sometimes, uh, most of the time with like chocolate. It's like this silky, almost like tone of like, you know, milk chocolate and Hershey syrup kind of thing going on. Um, pretty drinkable. It's not too sweet. I wish it was a little bit more complexity with like a little bit of chocolate and roast driving in there, like pushing um, a little bit more complexity. It drives, the, the malt is a little bit, sitting on this chocolate tone with the more chocolate and the peanut butter just sits there quite nicely. Hmm. What are their flavors? Uh, creamy peanut butter, yeah, some of that, rich chocolate and soft caramel. Yeah, that's the other tone. So that's the other thing to notice. There's a little bit of this kind of caramely uh, character in this beer. The, I guess the complexity of what their crystal malts are using has this kind of like brown sugar kind of like crystal malt thing. Hmm. Crystal malt, caramel. Honestly, this is quite nice and drinkable. Uh, I feel some of their quote unquote like pastry styles or like um, adjunct stouts end up a little bit too rich. This is really nice. It, it, it's definitely a sharing beer, but I definitely enjoy it. And uh, as for rating, let's go with a really solid, solid, solid rating. Um, and for me, like what makes, what makes a great one? For me, like impressions important. So, you know, maybe some of the angry chairs beers are probably better because they're just lactose ridden, they're just like pumpy in the face, huge tones, like and those are definitely like three, four ounce beers. The solid uh six to eight ounce beer, right? So double in the amounts of uh, drinkability on that, but really quite nice. Um solid ninety-two fat bear from uh, Hot Butcher, thank you so much. Until next time, guys. Cheers later.